Hi guys, this is Adam and welcome to your fourth tutorial um, in our series of CSV um, helper. So in this tutorial we'll focus on controller. So simply um, we want to create an index action once again uh, with an attribute of HTTP post. So create action results index and return view okay so to add attribute HD post and now we create a couple of variables so first of all we need a path so create a path we won't be defining that path yet so will be null now we want to create a list of our clients to display so before we created a class called I mean, clients display so we would like to create a list of them so list of clients display let's call it clients to display equals new list clients and now we'll start writing a code for uploading our CSV file so the best thing to do is just to encapsulate it with the try and catch so simply try we'll try to do something here if something goes wrong catch our error I want to save this error to view data error equals let's call it upload failed. All right, actually our our um, action will need to have a file, um, so we want to pass the HTTP posted file base. Um, so HTTP posted file base call it file so by saying that uh, HD posted file will be simply our file that we will upload so we want to perform an operation if our file um, content length is higher than zero because if, if it's not there's no point to do anything So let's create a variable uh, for a file name. So file for actual file, the name of the file that we are uploading. So file name equals path dot get file name. And finally we pass our file. So file dot file name. and then path equals now we want to give um, our physical path where the file will be uploaded so in theory we want to give uh, our upload path so to do it we have to go back to our application domain so app domain dot current domain dot base directory and now we want to give him our upload file so upload slash slash plus file name and finally we want to save our file so save us in our path So the, the only reason why I did it is that our CSV reader um, have a one uh, method called stream reader, and the stream reader actually accepts the, the path. 
and based on this path, he, uh, the CSV reader will be able to read the file. So create a CSV variable equals new CSV CSV reader and pass new streamer reader and our path. So this is our stream. It's called and that's pretty much it. And now we want to save our uh, clients list. So let's create some var variable called clients list equals our CSV dot and uh, get records and now we'll pass the model clients so pass the clients and you you think you can stop here because the clients list will be um, a list of the clients that were passed from the CSV file uh, but the the MVC application will have an issue trying to read from this file. So we want to create our um, custom model that we created before. Uh, so clients, the clients display, and for each object in the clients list, we will grab the information and pass it to the clients display object and add those, add this object to a clients display list. So for each var uh, let's call it C in our clients list and the main reason why we can why we can um, run the forage loop is that because the forage sorry the <coughs> the clients list um, is Sorry, I made a stolen mistake. As you can see, it says get record, which means it will <coughs> clients list will be a single object. That means on a single object you can't perform the forage um, operation uh, because it doesn't have the get enumerating definition. Um, so it simply says get records. Now everything works fine. So now the clients list is a uh, i enumerable um, object. So Create object called clients uh, clients to display call it um, sorry clients display so clients display um, I want to have this class All right clients clients display call it client to display because this is a single client equals new clients display so clients to display and our client to display I could actually name it a bit different to avoid confusion so client to display a single object dot and date of birth so we can get this date of birth from our single object which we defined here, which is a C. So C dot date of birth. And do exactly the same thing with uh, rest of the parameters. So name equals C dot name client display dot phone equals C dot phone. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. This is actually highlighted as an error. I will explain in a second why um, is it an error at this point. C dot sex. Okay, client to display dot surname. <coughs> the main reason why we have an error here, we've highlighted. So it's kind of implicitly convert type string to system date dot time. The reason being that is um, clients to display expect to have to to become uh, to become a date time, but as you can see in our clients object, we have a string. So 
there is a very simple solution for that. We have simply parse our object. So, sorry. So because on the left side we have a string, so we want to create a date time, and there's a nice method called parse. So dot parse open bracket and we pass the string so we automatically convert the string into our date time uh, there is isn't one issue with that because if you if you try to pass an object that um, for example in our CSV file um, at the moment let's say the format is uh, date date month month uh, year 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 but for example if this will be empty um, or the format will be a bit different, the operation will fail. So I, I recommend it to actually put a try and catch uh, between them. So try and catch, catch, simply do nothing. Exactly the same thing with phone. So the phone is our int. So just simply say int dot parse and our string phone. Okay, so that, that works fine. Once we create an object, I think something is missing because we haven't no we have date of birth name, font sex, surname. Okay. Um so now we want to add this object to our to our list that we created before. So this is our list. Clients clients to display dot add our single object client to display. Right, so if everything goes goes as we planned, uh, once we put a breakpoint over here, we will be able to debug and find out if the clients to this playlist uh, contains our free um, objects. So upload our file names to the CSV. Open upload. And now we can find out if everything went as we planned. So clients to display in theory should have a free objects from our CSV file. And yes. So everything works as planned. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how to display this list on our view. So thanks for watching and see you on the next tutorial.